What's up food fanatics and welcome to another video here in beautiful sunny Istanbul Now the thing is I just finished an intense Monday morning workout And what I want to do is I want to go grab some food Specifically today we're going to be eating a few new Turkish dishes that I haven't showed you there before So let's roll Okay, so I'm outside the place right here behind me and the thing is what they do is a variety of different dishes from omelette to some cream dishes and pretty much all kinds of breakfast places. So without further ado, let's roll. What's up guys? So I'm situated here in the restaurant. Um, it's pretty empty right now because it's around lunchtime and this is more of a breakfast place, but because I was at the gym, I wasn't able to eat a lot. Let me kind of show you the setup here. We are on the second floor and uh, it's a pretty awesome view. I can look into you know the old traditional Turkish town from here. So let me tell you a bit about this place. They have a variety of dishes and that will include anything from you know different kinds of turkish omelets they have a lot of just regular eggs with sausage um, they have a variety of soups and on top of that they do little side dishes like you know honey and cream tomatoes and peppers olives and cheeses and then on top of that if you have a bit more of a sweet tooth they do have you know a bunch of rice pudding a bunch of um, different kind of cream sweets and you know even something like chocolate pudding and then obviously, you know, for uh, beverages, because this is Turkey, they're always going to have um, some tea and some coffee. Now, on top of that, what I do totally want to show you here is the fact that they give you an unlimited amount of fresh bread. So because I'm super hungry because I just like worked out and I haven't eaten since last night, and it's already around one o'clock in the afternoon. I've been fasting all day. I've ordered up a few, um, you know, dishes that are specialties here and I'm just waiting for the waiter to bring it and then once we get settled and we're ready guys I'm gonna show you what it is I'm gonna dig in badly I'm starving here so I can't wait a few moments later First thing we've got here is the traditional Turkish tea. I think I'm gonna need it because I've got all kinds of flavors here on my dish. Now, second thing we've got over here is basically the Turkish omelet dish. Now, this is a very kind of different dish than the typical ones you guys see because what they do is that they cook all of it within this like bowl, this metal bowl, and it's all fried right in it. Top of that, I wanted to get in my veggies for day, just be a little bit healthy. So I got some like peppers and tomatoes as well, just for that like extra yummy flavor. And then in order to satisfy my sweet tooth, what I ended up getting is this honey and clotted cream called kaimak. And then obviously what they do give us is a ton of fresh bread. Look at that. And by the way, I think they keep on refilling it. So this is one of the things I love the most about Turkey. Now, this dish that you see here, this is called menemen. And basically what it is, is that it's a Turkish fried omelet right in the bowl. And it comes in a different kinds of combinations. So what you can do, you can just have like um, regular eggs uh, fried with, you know, some sujuk, which is a uh, Turkish uh, dried sausage. They add some cayenne pepper, some cumin, black pepper, salt, and other kinds of uh, typical Turkish spices. It's dry aged beef um, specifically, and this is the one that I got today. And then as well, what we have here, this is the kaimak, and basically what that is is that it's uh, clotted cream from the cow, or it can be from the buffalo, or I think even from goats. And they basically it's this thick 
sweet cream and they usually serve it with a lot of honey and this is the one I opted for because it looks absolutely delicious at this. So I've spoken enough about this. Um, what I'm gonna do now guys, I wanna dig in. I really want to dig in. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have my first sip of this like delicious tea. It hits the spots, gets you energized and guys, let's dig in. So first thing I'm gonna dig into here is this beautiful omelet. I love how colorful it is. It is warm. My hands are burning. I shouldn't have done that. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna dig in to my very first bite. So what I love about it already, oh my god, it is moist and you can smell the flavor of the sujuk, the sausage that is kind of mixed with the eggs. You can smell that combination of flavors. It just, it hits your nose. It just, it opens up your appetite. Let's dig in for the first bite. Whoa, it's good. It's very good. It's so creamy. It's soft. And then on top of that, you can really taste that sujuk. You can taste, you know, the variety of spices that they have mixed into it. Um, it's so creamy in your mouth. And then there's big chunks. I don't know if you guys can see this, but there's all these like gigantic chunks of the sujuk in there that you get a, you know, a, a burst of, you know, the flavor in your mouth. And it's absolutely freaking delicious. The one thing I do want to say about this is that this plate is clearly unseasoned and I think they do this on purpose from what I've read and basically that way you can season it for your to your taste. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm basically going to season it just a tad bit with some salt, some pepper and then I'm going to dig in for that second bite. Maybe I'll make it a little bit of spicy now. I'm going to go in for my second bite. I'm not going to use any bread. I'm going to take just this like gigantic bite if you can take a look at it over here. Whoa, that's really good. Absolutely awesome. The more meat you have, the more you can taste from a lot of these mixture of spices. Now, they didn't fully cook the eggs, which I love, which gives it that flavor. It doesn't typically taste like, you know, your regular fried eggs. And I actually, like, I'm crazy about that. Now, what I want to do in this bite, in the next one, I'm going to grab a bit of bread. I'm just gonna take a bit of my bread over here. I'm gonna just get this like massive bite over here that you can see. I'm just gonna dig in. I wanna see what it tastes like with the bread. Mmm. Whoa. Absolutely delicious. Listen, the bread gives it that kind of like soft, fluffy contrast in terms of the texture of the food as well. What it does, it really enhances the flavor of the eggs. In the previous bites, when I didn't have any bread, I tasted a lot of the meat and a lot of the spices, but it's only in this bite that I kind of started to take, taste a lot of the eggs. Absolutely delicious. What I want to do now is I want to actually dig into one of these other dishes I have over here. So I'm going to dig into the kaimak first. And what I want to do, I just, I kind of, I'm just going to grab it. You guys can see. I'm just going to get a little piece of the bread, you guys. And then I'm just going to scoop. Is that how cream felt it is? Let's take a bite. Mm. I absolutely love it. I swear this is like something that you would eat when you go to grandma's house on a Sunday morning and she wanted to make you a breakfast and she know you were kind of a little fat kid that had a sweet tooth. The honey is so sweet. This is very clearly something made locally and then on top of that the cream itself is absolutely stunning you taste it and it just it melts in your mouth it doesn't feel very heavy it feels very light but it's also you can taste the present because the texture of it is not like you know a regular soft cream it's it's a bit clumped up it's very good it's very yummy i'm gonna go in for my second bite over here i'm just gonna i'm gonna get a good chunk bon appetit Wow, that honey is so sweet, but the cream, it's even, the taste of it becomes stronger with, with every bite. And then on top of that, I'm glad I got this because this thing is so sweet. You're gonna need a little bit of this to refresh, to cleanse that palate. What I wanna do here is I'm gonna take a bit of those tomatoes and the green peppers, and I'm gonna throw them in with the minimum. I've got myself like a giant bite over here, if you can see. Let's, let's see what it's like. Mm. Mm. Absolutely amazing. These green peppers 
right here. They bring out so much flavor from the dish. It's absolutely stunning. It's absolutely amazing. It really gives it that different flavor, especially when you have it with a few bites of the sujuk, which brings out a lot of the spices. And when I mix it with a bit of veggies, it is punches you in the face with flavor. I absolutely love it. I'm gonna go in now for another bite, and what I wanna do, I wanna get a little bit of that bread. I've got my giant bite over here, guys. Ah, it's falling off. I'm ready to begin. Wow, so good. So freaking good. I love it. The best bite so far. You get the bread, mix it with all the veggies, mix it with the men and men, and it's absolutely stunning in the mouth. I can't explain how important the softness and the fluffiness of the bread is for the mixture of all these flavors in your mouth in order to absorb a lot of these flavors from the food and then transfer it into your taste buds it's absolutely immense okay so for the next bite i've got myself a little bread and it's kind of like a little scooper so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna actually dig into the kaimak i'm gonna have myself another bite got my giant piece of kaimak with the honey dripping as you can see i'm just gonna go in for the bite it's gonna be so sweet i love it wow i love it i'd say this is my favorite thing the cream it's so creamy but not in a sweet way just in a, like a fluffy dairy ball in your mouth that's just like mixing with all of the honey which is so sweet i'm a person that loves sweet food and i find this very sweet and it's so good and i don't mean that in a bad way okay guys i've still got a bit of food i think i've kind of gone through everything i'm gonna dig and mix a bunch of this stuff i'm gonna i'm gonna eat the rest of this and then i'll catch up with you once i wrap it up so without further ado guys i'll see you in a bit Whoa, whoa, whoa. Food is done. Absolutely delicious. I'm in heaven. I'm not even in Istanbul anymore. I'm in heaven. That's how good this food was. My favorite thing I would say was the Kaimak cream with the honey. It was absolutely delicious, but I absolutely also loved the menemen. It was so hearty. It was kind of like, it was just, it felt like grandma's cooking. You know, the eggs were moist. There was some meat in it and it was very flavorful. And then you had, you know, the peppers, the tomatoes and the olive oil, which was absolutely delicious. There was an absolute broad range of variety of flavors and tastes. And then I still had this tea, which is absolutely delicious. I don't know how sultans used to live. But I'm gonna take a guess that any Sultan of Istanbul used to have this on the regular because how else would you live as a king? This is what you need to be eating. So, guys, what I'm just gonna do, I'm just gonna kind of clean up the table because I did make a mess. <laughs> I'm gonna head downstairs and I'll catch up with you in a bit. Nice to connect with you guys again. So, I just paid up. I am beyond full. I can barely walk. Can you see the umbrellas? Pretty cool. I can barely walk. That's how full I am. So that entire dish came out to a total of 48 Turkish Liras, which I kid you not is only six US dollars. This is probably gonna fill me for the rest of the day. I don't need to eat anything. So listen, I hope you guys loved this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed this so far. Now, if you did, even if you didn't, leave a comment down below, give some feedback. Let me know what you wanna see more of, less of, what you liked, what you didn't like. Also hit that subscribe button because I'll be uploading a video every Monday, every Thursday for the rest of my travels until the day I die. So without further ado, guys, I hope you loved this video. I hope you enjoyed the food. I hope you come and try the food. That's how good this is. Stay tuned for the next episode that comes out on Thursday. It's going to be very meaty. So take care and stay hungry, my fanatics. See you later.